Hey, it's Glenn. We're heading back into Govi's Valley today. Um, we just kind of briefly ran in here before. But we are playing it for real this time. Okay, so... There's, there's a tree in the middle of this area here. We don't need to talk to it quite yet. I mean, it's full of water. That's, that's all you need to know. It's full of water. <laughs> we are going to climb up this pyramid, or uh, Sphinx, rather. You can give that flight pad a go, but we're gonna do that quite yet. We're instead we're gonna jump on his nose and then shoot some eggs. His nose is all blocked up. No, I keep I keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that, that cleaned up the blockage. Come on in. Sure. I have a feeling there's some goodies in here. So we're gonna ignore that because there's a mumbo token right over here. As you can see, those those hands, they're they're a little frightening at first, but they're not anything you have to worry about. I don't want to miss these notes here. That's why I'm grabbing them. <laughs> okay. So, basically we're going to continue the same thing as before. Um, where we shot eggs into his nose, but this time into the mouths of the um, statues. If we're fast enough, you can grab that ginger, then head back over. That's what I need to do with some jumping, some flight. And there's the puzzle piece. The next golden piece of the puzzle. Okay, the first Jiggy of Gobi's Valley. There it is, okay. Now you can exit out. There's, there's nothing else in there that we need. You know what, actually, we're gonna go back on top of the Sphinx again. Because there's that flight pad, and there's actually several things we need to fly around and collect. There's this honeycomb-shaped one right there. Oh, we gotta do this to beat the witch. So, if we do this, I guess the game ends. Where is it? Somewhere around here, right? No. Where, where was it? <laughs> where did it go? I didn't... We can grab this. Mm, doesn't look like it's over here. Yeah, I. Oh, it's it's over. Oh, right, in this section, that's where it is, okay.
Definitely makes it a little bit easier whenever it shows kind of the perspective of where you are in comparison. <laughs> These are where, like, weird, almost banjo-like creatures. Ah, uh, they can only give us a jiggy. They can't help us eat runny. I mean, that, that, that still helps, but whatever. <laughs> So you can actually use this flight pad again. Um, I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I wanna make sure I grab these notes over here. It's a one-up, we don't need that. One-ups are completely useless. If you get a game over, you can just, you know, run back to the level. Not really a big deal at all. 26 notes, that's an Unusual number to have, it feels like. Okay, now we will use the flight pad for the last time. <laughs> At least I think it's the last time we use it. So yeah, there's this very unusual target up here. <laughs> we hit that. The door will open. We can head downwards. Mm. Okay, so we want to help this guy. He has like a, a snake that pops out this jar, but it is not coming out. So what can we do? Why we can we can shoot eggs into this smaller rotating jar. Of course, it all makes sense. It's gonna help us with our quest. What is he gonna do? He's gonna spring way up so we can get out of this jiggy. <laughs> I believe you can also climb on. Yep, you can climb up there. It's faster if you just uh, stand on his head though. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I say we should head over here behind this. Check out what's over here. There's some boots. Okay. Oh, but there's also some speed shoes. So this, this hand right here would not let you through, or not give you the jiggy, rather. So you had to use the speed shoes to snatch it away from him as fast as you could. Now we can grab these notes as well. concerned about making it up this giant <laughs> thing right here. Ah. You may have actually messed it up. I think you're supposed to use the speed shoes to, to run up there. So let's uh, 
Let's get rid of this hand so he doesn't mess us up. Let's get out of here. Now we'll wait for the timer to stop. And then we can press the button. Okay, let us... let us go. <laughs> so this cycles between things you can collect. Egg, feather, note. Egg, feather, note. Grab the notes. You might have to come up here twice. I don't know about this for me. Ooh, that was a close one, for sure. Now we can grab this jiggy inside of this tomb, or... I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to be. Spills the middle section of water. So if you previously fell in there, you can rest assured that um, no longer will lead to your inevitable death. Look familiar? <laughs> Should. Hmm. Starting to see a uh, pattern here. Those are good shots. This is the funnest part of the level. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm joking. This is, uh, this is kind of, kind of weird. I keep just randomly pressing buttons for no reason. I'm not sure why I'm doing that. And it is fully uncovered. That's actually how you're supposed to get that that uh, mumbo token that was kind of just floating there earlier. We we collected it through flight. Actually, you're just supposed to run up there. <laughs> and also, there's the flight pad. If you do get stuck down here, whenever there was just sand, there are, there are ways out. So you're not you're not totally screwed if you come down here. We're actually going to save this pyramid for last. And we're instead we're going to go up this one. There's a Jinjo behind it, and also this lovely switch. Remember how I said you didn't have to fly anymore? Well, I lied. You do have to fly again. Watch out for these magic carpets that like to be tricky. Disappear on you.
There you go. So he's helped Gobi. He's gonna go find some water. Okay, so how, how is your memory? Do you have good memory? Because, and sometimes mine is a little off. We're gonna see how off it is today. <laughs> okay. Just gonna totally get rid of that guy because he is an annoyance, let me tell you. Begin. Oh, that one's up here. Banjo, where is Banjo? Right. Hold on. Banjo and Banjo. No, did we have we seen that note yet? Oh, Kazooie is over here, right? Feather, uh, right here? Yes. Mumbo was by Kazooie. Blue Egg was down here. Jinjo. Jinjo. We did it! So that was, uh... I think this puzzle is the same here. There's there's a different variant of it that's attached this to something later in the game. Um, but... Yeah, we made it. That's great. Okay. So our next order of business will be let's uh let's go check out Gobi. Gobi needs some water. Or no, excuse me. Gobi Gobi has the water. That's what it is. Gobi has water, and you know maybe if we give him a pound, he can water the tree. That's that's what the scenario is. <laughs> I like how Gobi just runs across the water. We also got a hint, kind of, of where he went next. So in case, uh, in case it's not obvious, I didn't play this level in the, the best route, exactly. <laughs> but hey, we are almost done. We're gonna grab that empty honeycomb piece. It's way on the other side. It's kind of annoying. Whenever you're flying, like you slowly tilt downwards. Oh, we just need one more honeycomb piece. Actually, I think we might be able to get one. So here's Gobi, and the door is open to this area. Whoa, that almost fell into the sand. So he, Gobi is out of here. He is no longer in this world. And we just got a life up. This is, this is one of the special stop and swap rooms. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything in here. Yeah, there's... <laughs> there's no egg in here. I already collected it. Ha ha ha! 
Alright, so you can either jump across and get damage, or you can wait for the magic rug to appear. Here it is. Our nice little magic taxi. And now we're going to head to the last area for this level, which is the main pyramid. This one right in the middle of the level. Taking out the back there. Okay, so this 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 area can be a little scary because it's easy to to die in here. <laughs> okay, so we 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 were bad and we didn't listen to the warning. So now the ceiling is slowly, slowly, slowly falling. So you want to hit the switch. It's a bad idea to come this way, I think, first. <laughs> but we have all of these notes that we need to collect. should be one more secret in this area. A very, very well hidden Jinjo. <laughs> I like that. Banjo popping out of the pot with a puzzle piece that's funny. And yeah, that's, that's it. That is all of this level, I believe. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So now we can leave. We're gonna take a look around Grunty's uh, lair. I think I've been, have I been calling it Grunty's castle? Like Peach's castle? No, this is this is Grunty's lair. We're gonna walk around Grunty's lair and try to find uh, the next area. Okay, so this is opened up from the witch switch uh, near the end of that level. Whoa. It's hard to see, but the, the jiggy was up in the taller portion of the coffin. Okay, so you may have noticed that there's like a slope up here. Hmm, a note door, as well as another spider web with a warp cauldron. And that's not all, I also think that there's someone standing around here. Yes, it's our good friend, Matilda. The disgusting Gruntilda has rat bagels for breakfast. Ew. Then she usually has maggot pie for dinner. Wart bags then finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. How horrid. I would say. <laughs> My goodness. So yes, the sting pot is, is now available to us. I don't know why I fell down here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you for the gaha, the gahas, banjo. This room doesn't have much at the moment, so we're gonna go into the tunnel. There's a mumbo token over here. It seems like mumbo tokens have a lot larger draw distance than most of the other collectibles. Maybe that's just my imagination. Okay, so we gotta keep keep swimming through the tunnels. There's not much in this room either, but you can jump on this, over to this, towards this, a little bit higher to this, <laughs> and use our jiggies to good use here to open up Mad Monster Mansion. I like how Grunny keeps getting cut out, like nobody cares what Grunny says. And then if you're, if you're feeling adventurous, there's a mumbo token behind that thing. <laughs> I don't know what that is exactly. Alright, so Mad Monster Mansion is now open. And I'll go ahead and show it to you how to get there. completely on our face and then we got ran over by that that guy <laughs> so yes as I mentioned before be careful with these pathways and there it is right at this Spooky halfway. Here it is. It is Mad Monster Mansion. I think there's something behind it. Oh, just health. So make sure before you head to Mo Mad Monster Mansion that you always knock down this gate. You gotta use the A B button attack to get rid of that. Anyway, in our next episode, we will play through Mad Monster Mansion, and uh, it will be a lot of fun. So thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you next time. Alright, bye.